Win a Pageant, Episode 77. I created this step-by-step process after training thousands of women across the U.S. to win. Now you can have access to these winning strategies when you join me every Wednesday. Let's win a pageant. Hey girl, welcome to the Win a Pageant podcast. I'm your coach, Alicia Darby. Today, I want to make you sound like a true celebrity. Not that you're not already. It's just that sometimes when you write a boring bio and someone reads it from stage, you just sound sort of boring. So in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to write an incredible pageant bio that makes you sound like the celebrity that you actually are. Now, there are four steps to this process, and the first begins with just writing a list of all the things that make you awesome. Okay, so think about awards that you've received, titles you've held, positions you've served in. This could be something like you are the brand ambassador for an organization or the secretary of the National Honor Society. You could even talk about how you wrote a book, you created an app, designed a t-shirt, maybe you raised money for a specific cause, or maybe you started a student club on your campus. Whatever it is, I want you to write only the main point and put it in bullet points, not full sentences just yet. For the first step, just make a list. Now, step two is to actually put all of the bullet points in order of how awesome they sound to somebody else. And I really do mean that. If somebody were to read out each one of your bullet points in their best announcer voice, which one would sound the best? So let's say here, I'm going to give you a great example of my announcer voice with a couple bullet points that these could be yours. Could be born in New Orleans or sophomore at Florida State University. Or, weekly relationship columnist at the local Tribune. Or, creator of the women's fashion blog, Rockin' Robes. Do you see what I mean? So when you say it in your best announcer voice, the silliest things sound super silly and the good stuff sounds really great. So that is going to help you to determine the difference. I want you to put them in order of greatness at the top being the absolute best things that you've done. So in this example, I would suggest creator of the women's fashion blog, Rock and Robes, would probably be the leading thing because it's just so cool. Like someone created a blog that's way cooler than the fact that she's a sophomore at Florida State University, which many other people are, right? So put your coolest things at the top. Then step number three, I want you to write one sentence for every bullet point, and the sentence should focus on the actual accomplishment. So for example, if you created a blog, then I don't want you to write your sentence like, she created a blog called Rock and Robes. Okay, do not do that. Make it sound good, right? Say, she's the creator of the online women's fashion resource called Rockin' Robes. Okay, you see what I did there? I just said it in a new way to make it sound fancy. That's what I want you to do with every one of your bullet points. And the final step for all of this to kind of come together is I want you to actually go back through each one of those sentences and give them different starting phrases. So you may have to reword it a bit to really make it sound unique and avoid redundancy. Okay, so you don't want every single sentence to start with, she is the blah, 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 blah. She is the da, 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 da. She has done this. She has that. Now, you want to give it a little bit more creativity. So try rewriting the sentences. Try starting with her, her greatest accomplishment, blah, blah, blah. Or as the, like as the president of the National Honor Society, she has blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's what you want to think about your accomplishments. Now I want to share with you an actual bio from one of my clients, Rita. Rita is an incredible gal. I mean, in my eyes, she is a total rock star, but she wrote her bio the first time around. And then I rewrote her bio and I showcased that she is an actual rock star, all her rock star isms, and it completely changes the way that Rita shows up and it makes a huge world of difference in her press kit. So I want to just read each of these bios to you to show you how you can truly create a masterpiece just within your bio. Okay, so here is her original bio. Born in Japan to a military father and native Japanese mother, Rita was always told that she should use her strengths to help others. As someone who was very interested in technology and entrepreneurship, she loved empowering others by helping people learn technology and entrepreneurship. Scammed in high school when trying to create an app, she wants to use her knowledge and skill set to help others with their goals. 
Now, that is a very beautiful story, right? But it's not really capturing what I know about Rita. So here's how I rewrote it for her. Rita is the national ambassador for Pretty Braining and the founder of StilettosToStem.com, where she inspires women to learn all about technology. She's a tech expert who's seen and tried it all, from app development to fashion tech design. You can find her online doing regular Facebook Live videos about the latest in tech. Rita is currently studying tech entrepreneurship at UW-Madison. So do you see what a huge difference it is between these two bios? Now, in the second one that I rewrote, I did this exact process. I thought, okay, what are all the bullet points of the cool stuff that she's done? And then what order do we need to put it into so that it can really capture the audience she's looking to reach? Now, here is a really key takeaway from listening to the first and the second. I'm hoping that you're gathering this, but I want to point it out to you too. It's a pro tip for you. You definitely want to remove all of the details that do not apply, and you really want to focus on using words that have a positive connotation. So you've got to help your audience, the judges, your fans, really see your best aspects and leave them with a positive, uplifting feeling, because that, my dear, is how you win a pageant. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next Win a Pageant Wednesday. Hey there, I'm Alicia Darby, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching that last video. If you totally loved it and got something from it, would you just click subscribe right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel? Hey, I am here for you, and I've got so many more trainings and videos for you. In fact, this one would be a really great one to watch next. Or if that topic doesn't interest you, then try this one. It's my most recent video training. So I think both of these would be really great for you. Thank you again so much for subscribing. I am honored to be your coach. I'll see you again soon.